Hi, welcome to Contractor Foreman. Uh, this series of videos is meant for new users of Contractor Foreman and designed to give you a, a few videos to help you get rolling on the software. Uh, I've put together a series of three videos to uh, help you uh, get going, as I say. The first video that I'll record is the one just outlining the system technology and the platform that uh, Contractor Foreman runs on. And in addition to that, I'll give a little bit of an overview of the browser and the app view and discuss the different support options we have to help you uh, with your uh, acquisition of Contractor Foreman. The second video in the series will be an overview of all of the modules in Contractor Foreman. This will not dig into the modules in depth, but rather uh, just to provide an overall positioning of them, discuss a useful initial process to follow in using the software. And the third video will be a more detailed walkthrough of the creation of an estimate, uh, sending that out to the customer, getting the approval, using the invitation to bid capability, converting that approved estimate into a project, and then uh, discussing the different tabs within the project record to help you manage both the schedule and the financials of your project. So with that introduction, let's begin. <clears throat> so what I'm showing you here is the panel view of Contractor Foreman. Uh, Contractor Foreman is a hosted application our underlying hosting services from Amazon Web Services, which is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, I've been with Contractor Foreman uh, about three years at the moment, and so far it's only been unavailable a couple of hours. Now, when I say the panel view, what I mean is the, it's a browser-based view. I happen to be using Edge on the Windows platform, but uh, Chrome, Firefox, Safari all work fine, and the operating system can be Windows, Chrome OS, or Safari. All of them work fine. In addition to the panel view, which is a desktop, laptop uh, application, we have a couple of apps that you can download, and I've just got an emulator that runs on my system uh, that allows me to show you what the app looks like on your tablet or smartphone. There's actually two apps. One of the apps is an Android app, so you get that from the Google Play Store, and uh, you download that. You can run that on your tablet, or you can run it on your smartphone. Similarly, there's the uh, Apple Store app that you can download and run on your Apple tablet or your Apple smartphone. Uh, it's beyond the scope of this short session to get into the app view but uh, suffice it to say that as long as you're internet connected you have access to your uh, data in the contractor foreman system and just about all of the functions that we have available on the desktop are available on the app with the exception of the gantt chart and the weekly time card and the reporting module okay let's do a little walkthrough of the dashboard here um, starting on the left, we have uh, the default logo, Contractor Foreman. Uh, we allow you to brand the website with your logo. So just go into settings and in the settings area under the profile, <clears throat> uh, under the profile section here, you can indicate whether you want the logo on the web to be different than uh, than the, what the default is. The other logo here, this main logo, is what you use to uh, put on any correspondence that you send out. And then we have the ability to put in a header and a footer as well. So a little flexibility there. Um, <clears throat> moving across to the right, um, we have the the menu settings, this gets you access to all of the functions of the software. And I'll walk through each of these functions in video number two. But I want to point out in this menu, in this video, the what's new button. 
Uh, every month we release new features of Contractor Foreman. And so I encourage you at the, in the early part of the month to have a look at what's new and see what's new in the software. In addition to that, we have the make a suggestion uh, area and uh, we value the suggestions that all our customers give us. So please don't, you're the ones that use the software. Uh, if you see something that would make it more user-friendly or usable, uh, by all means, put that into the suggestion uh, box. Then because projects, time cards, and directory are, uh, are popular modules, uh, we've given you shortcuts to those three modules right up here on the uh, top, top middle of the menu. Over here on this area, we have the free group training sessions. So uh, you're welcome to join as many, uh, join these as many times as you wish. Uh, if you have a new person coming into your company, uh, perhaps joining the basic training will give them a basic orientation to the software. We run two of them a week at the moment. Uh, plus we have an advanced session that we run once a week. The search button just allows you to search through the whole database and find things. This button is a quick add to the calendar. So you just pop that up. You can add just a calendar entry, a sales activity or a to-do that's uh, convenient. And then here we have the live chat uh, for the first line of live support. So uh, contractor foreman has a chat team available from seven to nine Eastern time, seven, uh, Monday to Friday. And uh, they're great for those questions. I can't get signed on. Uh, somehow I, uh, my logo isn't appearing uh, and so on and so forth. Or where do I go to find this? So that's, uh, that's useful here. Dropping down here, this little icon gives you the ability to see your recent activity and recent notifications. Now, the recent activity is useful as you're going through the system. Uh, it gives you the ability to say, hey, I'm working on one or two modules, so I can just quickly hop to those two modules. Um, if, uh, if you're in the middle of something and you have a, a, an idea of a new feature, this, this uh, bullhorn allows you to do that. And then this video is an example of uh, one of our just-in-time training videos, which is available throughout the software. Now, the rest of the dashboard is occupied by widgets, and um, the widgets are basically little windows into the database for you. And you can customize the layout of your uh, dashboard by moving things around here. You can uh, adjust the size of your widget and so on. Uh, each user gets to choose which widgets they want to see based on the role that they've been assigned. That's the way contractor foreman sets up the security uh, of the system. Um, now, the, over here, we have our, uh, have our uh, the weather report for you and there. And on the bottom here, we have, uh, sometimes uh, there's a little confusion. The live chat gives you access to the contractor form and support team. The team chat is uh, meant for your internal team. So you can just send a chat to an individual employee. You can create a little chat group uh, that you wanna communicate with. And I don't think there's any limit to the number of chat groups you can create. Then you have a, a chat within a particular project. So that uh, allows you to your team to communicate on a particular project. And then you have a client chat, so you can chat with a particular client. So a useful, uh, a useful quick communications tool on that. And I think that really covers the high level uh, uh, of the software, what I wanted to cover in this video. The next video, I will go into the modules in detail and uh, we'll, we'll go from there.